Hey guys, so guess what's coming up? Christmas. And you know what that means? Christmas videos. So when I was in about grade four, the school had the classes all get together and we all had to do a big Christmas play. So everybody had to join in on this. There was no uh, not joining. You had to go. It wasn't a choice. So everybody got their roles and I had to be Rudolph. Now with the role of being Rudolph, I got lucky and I only had two lines to say and they were very short and the rest of the play I just sat in the back. But I also had one other thing to do and I had this blinky nose they gave me for my costume and I had to remember to turn on the blinky nose when I went up and spoke. So it was extremely simple, three things I had to do, so I couldn't mess up, right? So when it was my turn to speak, I went up and I spoke, and I noticed in the crowd the teachers were waving and shouting and trying to get my attention. And I just stood there like, oh my god, what did I do wrong? What am I doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Then it hit me, I forgot to turn on my nose. So I went to try and turn on the blinky nose, but it wasn't working. So I started freaking out even more, and it didn't turn on, so I had to keep going with the lines, and then I went back to where I was supposed to stand, and the play continued. But the embarrassment, the level of embarrassment, oh, oh! So yeah, that's my story on a Christmas play that didn't go really well. Yeah. I'm Ash Whisker and I have a small story about Christmas to share. Every year at the beginning of December, I sit down and spend about uh, 10 to 15 minutes making some mistletoe. What I do is I take green paper and cut it into three identical leaf shapes, add some string, and I glue on these like... Uh, fuzzball things? And BAM! I know mistletoe is actually white, but most people see it as red, so I make it red, therefore allowing more people to identify it as mistletoe. I've been making this mistletoe for the past couple of years, and throughout December until Christmas I'd bring it to school. It's as if I unlock a special power for 25 days, and whenever I bring out the mistletoe, everyone's mood automatically changes to, oh dear, who's she gonna put it over now? And then I throw it away. Rest in peace. That's really the only Christmas story I have though, so um, thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.